All right, so this is gonna be a video about limit properties. In this case, the property that we're gonna be talking about today is direct substitution. Now, what direct substitution states that if a function is continuous, continuous means there's no jumps, gaps, or holes. It's at C, okay, and then C is what this limit is going to. So limit the X is limit of this function as X gets closer to C. So if this function right here is continuous at this value C right here, then C can just be directly substituted in to F of X right here to find the limit. So another way of writing this is the limit of F of X as X gets closer to C could just be equal to F of C. But this only happens if the function is continuous at this value C. So I have an example right here. It says the limit of X plus one as X gets closer to five. So what we could do here is we can look at this five right here and think, okay, is this function right here continuous at five? Meaning there's no jumps, gaps, or holes. In this case, no, there isn't. This is just linear. There's no jumps, gaps, or holes. So I should be able to just substitute this five into this function and you'd end up with five plus one and then five plus one would be six. So the limit of this function as X gets closer to C would be six. And again, this is through the limit property of direct substitution. So that's basically how direct substitution works. All you have to do is worry about if this C value right here is continuous at this function right here. If that's the case, then you can just plug that C right in and uh, then you get the limit. Okay, if you have any questions about this, let me know.